We've had some beautiful weather across southeast Texas the last day or so, and that's going to continue at least through Friday. Then we'll start seeing some changes. We'll talk about those in just a moment. Rain coverages the next couple of days, pretty much near zero. We're not expecting any rainfall. Now, as we head toward the weekend, that starts changing. Humidity starts increasing, winds off the Gulf, and upper level disturbance will give us an 80% coverage of showers and a few thunderstorms on Sunday and early Monday. Then we'll dry out a little bit ahead of the next front due in a week from Thursday, week from tomorrow. Notice the temperatures here. We're uh, forecasting over the next seven, eight days, up to 10 days. Not too bad, just a little bit or above normal coming up over the next few nights and days ahead. Nothing drastically too warm or anything too bitter cold like we saw a couple of weeks ago. And look how dry the atmosphere is across the deep south. These brown colors you see here, that is very dry air across southeast Texas. Light west to northwest winds. And that's going to continue for the next day or so. But as we head into the weekend, here's our next upper level storm. It's off the coast of California, northwest of San Francisco. That'll move eastward. Now here's high pressure here. You see the ridge coming up right now over the west. That's going to build eastward. So our weather looks pretty good coming up the next two days. Less humidity, kind of like we had today. No rain chances. But as that ridge moves east, here comes a piece of energy from that upper low. Part of the energy goes north, some of it goes south. A little piece of energy comes across the area Sunday. Thankfully, and at least right now, we're not expecting any severe weather. It's going to be chilly tonight, though. Wouldn't be shocked to see some upper 30s across parts of the area, especially up in the lakes area by morning. But this evening, 50s. And as we head in toward Thursday morning, some upper 30s to lower 40s across east and southeast Texas. Very chilly night coming up. Looks pretty good as we head toward the end of the week ahead of the weekend. Still kind of cool in the morning, 50 by 9 o'clock. We're in the 60s by noon. Maybe a degree or two cooler Thursday than what we had today. A little bit cooler. A little surge of cool, dry air coming in from the north, but it's, it's going to be beautiful. Not much wind, so temperature not a big, big deal there compared to what we had on a Wednesday tomorrow night uh, back into the 50s. Now, your coastal marine forecast looks good, too. Seas up to 2 feet. That water temperature in the Gulf, a chilly 61 degrees tonight. Look for mostly clear skies, chilly lows near 40 in the lakes, low to mid 40s in the triangle. So a chilly start to your Thursday. So a light jacket certainly needed coming up for tomorrow morning. Uh, slightly cooler tomorrow compared to Wednesday. Not a whole lot though. Mid to upper 60s, upper 60s, 68, maybe a 70 in a few areas coming up for tomorrow. Next two days look good. Thursday, Friday, beautiful. 60s and 70s for highs. 40s for low. Saturday, the transition day, could be a couple of showers around. We'll give it a 20% cover. Humidity is coming back too, by the way, Saturday. And there's our big chance of rain Sunday, 80% coverage. Could see an inch of rain, a few spots, not expecting any severe weather. In fact, here's a look at rainfall totals, up to a half inch here and there, but uh, no flooding problems expected. So that's certainly good news there as we head into Sunday. We need some dry, we need a long extended period of dry weather. It does look dry toward the middle part of next week. Behind it, Tuesday, Wednesday look pretty dry. Lows pretty close to normal. Another cool front due in next Thursday. We'll give it a 40% coverage right now. This could go up or down. That's a long way out. A little bit cooler again behind that front, but no big Arctic blast in the forecast anytime soon. So that's good news if you don't want the cold weather. Stay tuned to Channel 12 and 12newsnowweather.com for the latest on all of our weather. Be sure to like us on uh, Twitter and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And of course, for all your weather needs to go to 12newsnow.com weather for the latest updates, not only in forecast, but radar.